Hi, Justin J. YTZ here for another quick tip about Tesla Model S and other vehicles. If you've got a dash cam, um, you may also be experiencing uh, problems of DAB radio reception uh, in Europe. And uh, a lot of people blame the car manufacturer or the antenna or the uh, DAB system for this uh, problem. If you've got a dash cam, it probably isn't the car, it's probably the dash cam. I've got a Blackview 650 um, GW and a 650S is actually the same problem. We've got that in another car. And um, the simple solution, well, there's two solutions actually. A half baked solution is to just switch off the Wi Fi on the dash cam, and you'll find that'll improve things uh, enormously. But the, the total solution, uh, apart from switching the Wi Fi off, which is still a good, good idea if you're not using it on the, on the dash cam, uh, the other solution is to use a ferret bead. And um, I'll show you how to install ferret beads to actually solve the uh, uh, problem of DAB reception. Now you can buy these uh, ferret beads from um, you know Blackview Direct, eight pounds fifty each. But if you go to Amazon, you can get a great big packet of them for ten pounds, including the size you need. So this is the uh, pack of uh, ferret beads I bought from Amazon, and you get um, uh, about four or five of these very very small ones, which are kind of the ones you need for the dash cam. There are some larger ones as well. And I can re recommend clipping these across uh, all sorts of cables, not electrical cables, but certainly if you've got cables to the uh, loudspeakers of your stereo system, if your stereo system picks up any clicks or bangs, especially an older system, which may not be uh, so immune to this sort of problem, then uh, worth installing these. And I'll show you what you do. It's very, very simple. So here's my car. And uh, the thing to remember about the Tesla is the, um, top few what appear to be elements in the rear screen heater are actually, in common with lots and lots of other cars, actually the antennas for your DAB and um, your FM and AM etc. You can still see the matching sections here, this uh, double link, that's part of the antenna. And having a dash cam uh, rear uh, cam mounted at the back, you can probably just see it there, is actually the last place you want to put it ne next to the antenna. But of course the place you want to put it to see the uh, road behind. So let's open the uh, the boot and just look to see what I've done. So I, I've taken one of these uh, little uh, ferret beads and you can see I've clipped it to the cable uh, which powers and uh, sends the video back to the main unit. And the important thing to see, it's um, clipped right around the cable so it's snug and it's as close as possible as you can get to the connector. That's really, really important, close as possible to the connector because that is effectively acting as a choke to any uh, stray interference which is affecting your uh, radio reception. So that's stage this one. This is stage two. Now you, you'll see actually in the front unit of the dash cam, I've, again I've mounted two of these, one on the power cable and one on the cable that goes to the uh, rear um, view uh, camera as well. Again this is to cut any interference generated by the unit uh, to being radiated from the cables. Those cables are acting as antennas so uh, not, not, not a great thing uh, to uh, radiate interference from that's going to affect your uh, performance of your car. Parking mode on. Now the, the other thing I just mentioned is uh, on the black view and other cameras have a similar feature you can turn off the Wi-Fi just by pressing this button Wi-Fi off. and it's telling me the Wi-Fi is off now. You have to put it back on if you want to download anything of course um, that's, uh, that's ob obviously <laughs> but um, uh, turn that off and it will switch back on if, if the uh, system you know, reboots, it will um, default having Wi-Fi on. Also, if you download uh, images to the cloud or anything, you'll need the, uh, the Wi-Fi switched on. But uh, if you are having uh, you know, a fringe area of DAB reception and you do want to uh, just um, improve reception a bit, you can turn that off as a belt and braces approach. But the ferret beads should, uh, should actually do the job nicely. So in conclusion, um, you're going to need three of these uh, little uh, ferret beads from Amazon. The, the tiniest, tiniest ones, um, they're about ooh, three millimeter diameter, something of that order. Um, but buy a big pack because you'll find them useful for other things around the house. Let's say loudspeaker tables, you know, phono inputs to your amplifier, anything like that. Um, any uh, HDMI cables going to your TV, anything like that. A ferret bead will help um, improve the immunity to, uh, to interference. Uh, that's been picked up by uh, long cables, particularly long cables. Um, I remember years and years ago, uh, my neighbours had a, a Betamax video which picked up uh, Radio Moscow all the time on the sound, which is terrible for our immunity. And, and that's exactly what I did. I fitted a ferret bead to the uh, 
uh, the coaxial input from the antenna, which was acting as a great big, uh, you know, shortwave antenna, and uh, that that fixed the neighbour's uh, problem. So there it is in a nutshell: how to stop uh, interference uh, to your DAB radio on a Tesla or any other car for that matter when you're using a dash cam.